morning. Good Friday morning to you. It's April 3rd. Welcome back to Exploration. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. Listen, I do want to make mention first of all. When I left the house this morning, got into my van, drove one mile, two miles, directly here with no contact with a soul. And I am revisiting the old road. I was out here the other day and just didn't feel like I gave it justice. Low tide right now, the tide's going out, but here in about two hours, it's gonna change, come back in. So I want to trek all the way over there, probably about a quarter of a mile. I'm really, really curious to see what kind of fishing holes we can find out here. So y'all stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. You know, I've been really, really excited to come back out here. Like I say, two days ago, I just really didn't do it justice. <clears throat> and after Google mapping, I really wanted to kind of follow this and see how far one can get out here. So when things calm down, this is a beautiful space, folks. If you just want to come out here and trek, bring a fishing pole, hopefully I can find some good little fishing holes for everybody. We've crossed over the first bridge. And from what I was told, this is the old road. Back in 1987, when Hurricane Gilbert came through, it wiped this road out. And of course, now you can't drive to Seesaw, which Google map, and I don't see how one could have drove to Seesaw anyway, but this old road was here. Now it's destroyed. So this is all new territory. It's obvious there's been folks out here camping, cooking, throwing their garbage. So we're coming up here now on the second bridge. Wow, this is pretty cool. made it to the end my final point my destination there's some awesome looking fishable water I think I've walked about a quarter of a mile to get to this little spot and wow look there is another bridge right here that used to go back across huh that's cool that's cool look at this deep water through here Nice. Nice. Well, you know, it does kind of disturb me that uh, I'm out here. And of course, all boats are supposed to be grounded, but these guys over here have a huge gill net going, trying to capture anything coming in or out. This is a small little boat way down there. What's good for one is, I guess, not good for the other. Well, that was pretty cool. Just caught a little lady fish. 16 inches. Let's see if there's anything else out here. Ladyfish they call poor man tarpon. Not good eating. They're a good cut bait though for grouper. They're very oily.
All right, well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and head back over to the bridge. The first two bridges. There's too many people out here for my liking. All right, but at least you got to see where this goes. For those of you who've never been out here, it is quite interesting. Safe little walk. Let me see if I can make my way back across here without falling on my buddy. Well, I haven't yet. I shouldn't say it again. Folks, once again, you know, I'm really enjoying myself getting out of the house just for, just for a couple of hours every other day. You know, we quarantine ourselves in our beautiful home, my wife Jennifer and I. And we're in there for 24 hours. In fact, yesterday I was so afraid I had to go to the bank. I looked like I was ready to rob the place with a little rag over my face, hat on, and gloves. It's kind of kind of weird to have to do that. But at the same time, I am out here. Yes, I'm not in the house, but I am out here all alone. Not a soul. Just me and the fish and you. I hope you're enjoying this. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to see if I can catch a couple more fish for you. Snapper, that's what you are, a whippersnapper. Well, folks, that's going to wrap up this episode of Exploration. I hope you enjoyed yourself with me here this morning. I uh, I had a ball. You know, I really wanted to explore this area one more time, and I walked all the way out there about a quarter of a mile to the very end there, to that very last bridge. A lot of deep water around there. Caught a Maccabee back there. I could imagine with the high tide, it would be a little bit more fishy back there. Of course, made my way back here to this first bridge, close to this parking area. And uh, yeah, we caught a couple of small fish, caught a barracuda, a bunch of a blowfish. But still, I was able to come out here, quarantined by myself, not a soul around. Now I'm heading back to the house to, well, quarantine myself in the house with my beautiful wife. Start my margaritas here about two. So y'all remember, please stay home, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Adios.